Welcome to the Lessons Learned Podcast, a podcast reflecting on the lessons we've learned and those we're still in the process of learning. I'm Komo, your host. I'm an interviewer, investor, and someone who has lived a lot of life in a short time. I built this podcast as a place for us to reflect, to be together, and to learn from one another. Let's get into it. Welcome to episode one of Lessons Learned. This has been a long time coming. I have dreamed of having my own show for a very long time. And it's taken me a while to build up the courage um, to actually go for it. So with this first episode, I want to set an intention. I chose the name Lessons Learned for a number of reasons. One of the biggest being that whenever I talk to people, And whenever I interview others, the concept of legacy and the impact we desire to make while we're here on this earth always resonates the most deeply. It always brings out the most emotion. It always brings out the most truth for the people I'm talking to. And so when I reflect on the lessons that they've taught or the advice that they share from this headspace of legacy, it always brings to bear the most important and pressing conversations that those individuals have to share. And when I think of my own life, it's the lessons learned that have gotten me to this place. The lessons I'm still learning are the ones that are going to take me to the next level, the next chapter, the next most important moment of my life. And so it's through these lessons that I want to impart to you, the listeners, what we're meant to most learn from one another. I am the youngest of five kids. I have one older brother and three older cousins that I grew up with in the same household. And a lot of my learning in life happened vicariously through their experiences, through their ups and their downs. And so it makes sense that what I want to build in the world is a place where we can bring all these lessons together. It can be our Rolodex of lessons so that we can learn from one another, see where each other slipped up, see what happened in each other's lives, and use that to guide us to where we want to go next, to what we want to build next, to the decisions that might be plaguing us and breaking our hearts and bringing us the most pain in our lives. We get to learn from one another. I think that's what we're all here to do on this earth with this life, is to bear witness to each other, learn from what each other have done, are doing, And then take that with us as we continue on our own unchartered path. I also am inspired to record this episode today, my first episode, on August 27th, 2019. Because last night I got to see two films back to back that just brought me so much joy and helped me feel so deeply seen. Those films were Blinded by the Light a British film uh, where a young South Asian um, kid in the 1989-ish, I believe, um, was inspired by getting music from the boss, Bruce Bruce Springsteen, and how that changed his life and how that helped him come into himself and stand up to his family and understand his family more deeply and own his life as a writer. And then after that, Mitch and I went and saw yesterday which is a film about what would happen in a world where the Beatles didn't exist and that music didn't exist and there's one individual Himesh Patel another South Asian man who knew and remembered so much of the Beatles anthology and happened to be a musician so started to release it all on his own and there's so many lessons embedded in those films um, that I extrapolated Um, but The biggest for me was when I was younger, you know, a lot of the narratives we hear around progress and equality um, and moving towards a more equitable future are about you can't be what you can't see. Well, last night I got to see what I can be. 
with these narratives that positioned a South Asian character right in the center of them. And when I watched Blinded by the Light and his passion for writing, the main character's passion for written word, his poetry, the words of the boss, the words in those songs by Springsteen, it ignited something in me. It reminded me why I also love writing, why I also am working on my memoir, why my story has value and has a place in this world. Seeing that young man, that character, understand that even on the fringes of society at that time, even being a voice that had been subjugated for so long, even being someone who just felt like he didn't belong or have value, that your voice matters and your story still matters. And that there's not only space for it, but it is required reading at this point in history, at all points in history. The more diverse stories we have coming up and out, the better off we are as a society. And so it was the encouragement that I needed to be able to dive headfirst and be grounded in this writing process. And that's also what I want to bring you guys along for in the Lessons Learned podcast is, is what it's like for me to write my first book. And so with yesterday, it was beautiful to see, and Mitch and I had a conversation about this after the fact, that the art that we create, how it can transcend the creator's. So even if the Beatles weren't necessarily the ones to have created all the music that they did, if it came from someone else, the artistry of what they made transcended time, transcended the artist. And the music was so deeply resonant, regardless of whether it was the Beatles themselves or Himish Patel. And a new generation fell in love with it in the same way that it did when it would have, quote unquote, first came out if it had existed. But seeing that story and seeing again the South Asian character centered in that story, in this beautiful narrative that wasn't like playing on his South Asian background or the accents of his parents or any of it. He was just a normal kid, a normal British kid who loves music and want, wanted to be a musician. And he was the main character. I felt so seen. Um, and how wild that they're both out at the same time, you know, when we created dream girl all those years ago, three, four years ago, all those years ago, I sound like I'm archaic or old, like very old, not the case, but time flies as you know, so much can change in such a short period. We created dream girl when there weren't a lot of, um, female networking groups for business owners who were women. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Dream Girl is the documentary film I produced um, uh, back in 2016 that we premiered at the Obama White House and, and got me on the Super Soul 100 list along with my co-founder and the director of the film, Aaron Bagwell. And we created it at a time when there was a need and a desire because female entrepreneurs, our stories weren't being heard um, or seen on big screens. And something that we did intentionally when we created the film was four of the five main characters in the film were women of color. And that was by design. Um, it was something Aaron was deeply committed to. It's something that I've built my entire career on is representation and diversity in media. And it just was something where we knew we were creating something innovative, something that hadn't been seen before and something that would allow others to feel seen and heard on screen for the first time for, in a lot of cases. And so being in a theater where, you know, a major theater where two of the main lineup films had South Asian characters centered in the narratives, it was wild and deeply inspiring. And so my lesson learned from yesterday and lesson learned from that experience is my voice needs to be out there. My story has to be told. I'm here to speak, to share, to write, to create, to share my unique perspective on the things that matter most to me. And I'm here to share these things in order for you, the listener, to also see your potential and your unrealized potential. And to know that just because I have done X things or the interviewees that are going to be coming on the show have done certain things, um, or people that you look up to in the media have done certain things or in your life, in your career, in your industry have done certain things. It does not preclude you from also doing 
the things that are within your heart, the things that you see them do that, that pull at your heartstrings that you know you're meant to do as well. Um, instead, this is a space for you to come to live in that possibility, the possibility of where you're going, of the dreams that you have in your heart, of the things that you know are within you to be made, to be created, to be lived. This is where we get to jam together about it and where you get to full tilt, believe the shit out of yourself. (laughs) And so that's what I'm creating this podcast for. That's what Lessons Learned is about. It's about all of us coming together, finding our voices. The Michelle Obama mug I have right in front of me with my pens in it says, and truly allowing ourselves to be seen and heard. And this is my way of letting myself be seen and heard by all of you. So coming back to intention. What I intend for us over this season, decades to come, I hope. What I intend is for us to have a space to be seen, to be heard, to learn, to share our lessons without judgment, to hear one another, to deeply listen to the lessons learned and the ones we're continuing to learn. I intend for myself to finally go all in with me, believe in myself, believe that my voice deserves to be heard in the world. It is one of value. My story is one that will impact hearts and minds. I intend for this to be something that lives beyond me. It's also going to be an opportunity for you to ask questions. So shoot me a DM. My handle's at Komal Minhas, K-O-M-A-L-M-I-N-H-A-S on Instagram. And shoot us a DM with questions that you might have. Uh, we're going to dive into various lessons on every episode. I'm, it, on, on solo podcasts, I'll come up with a lesson in advance so that I can throw it on uh, social for you guys to send some questions my way. But this is an opportunity for you to also ask Um, important questions that you might have that you want answered, that you want perspective on or feedback on or thoughts on. And I'm going to hold space for that. So expect solo episodes with me uh, where I talk about lessons I've learned mixed with uh, answering your DMs, questions that you've slid into my DMs, uh, and then interviews uh, with thought leaders, with people I respect and admire. That's the other thing I'd love is if you guys want to shoot me uh, names of people that you think I should interview in my DMs, we'll get them on the podcast uh, in, in the lineup. And it's just going to be a fun experiment. Let's see how this grows. Let's see how this builds. Our lesson for today is let yourself be seen. Let yourself be heard. What is that dream in your heart? How can you bring it to life? Because guess what? When we bring those dreams to life... It's just like I experienced last night with seeing those stories on screen. We have no idea the impact we can have and the people we can inspire. And imagine that domino effect and the ripple effect of the dreams that others are bringing to life uh, just from you bringing your own dreams to life. So this is our first episode, short and sweet, what we intend and our first lesson learned. Until next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you loved this episode, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. And if you want to follow me, Gomal, check me out on Instagram at K-O-M-A-L-M-I-N-H-A-S or the show at Lessons Learned Podcast underscore. And if you have an idea of a lesson that we should dive into on the show, then slide into our DMs and submit there or on the website along with any guests you think I should interview and talk all of the things with. As always, I hope that you make some time for you this week and reflect on the lessons you're learning or have learned and take some time to celebrate all the incredible that is you. Until next time, guys. Bye.